But Brayden, my jeweler said because it's 10 carat, there won't be any issues. 10 carats harder than 14 carats. Get that out of here. What's going on, everyone? It's Brayden with Code You Find Jewelry. Sure, personal jeweler. I went on eBay and bought this 7mm 10 carat hollow gold rope chain, so you don't have to. With that being said, Let's get started. So why would you buy a hollow gold rope chain? It's strictly visuals, guys. You're not getting the value gold content compared to a solid version as well as that durability everyday use compared to a solid version. Strictly a flex, you get a thicker looking chain and because it's hollow, it weighs less equals it costs less because it is gold. That's how you gotta buy your gold. But when we take a look at this rope chain and I would love to slam this rope chain below the ground. Trust me, I can't though. This seven millimeter hollow rope chain looks really good. I cannot complain. Your guys' time is value. My time is value. I'm not up here to lie to you. I want to give you guys the truth. This chain looks good. And let's compare it to the Jokoji Rope, the 7mm Diamond Cut Solid Jokoji Rope on the left and then the hollow version on the right. And in my opinion, I made a video about this before because the Jokoji Rope is solid. The better diamond cuts can be applied. That's the difference there. You see slightly better diamond cuts with the solid Jokoji Rope compared to the hollow version, but both look relatively the same. I can't make any complaints visually. Brain weight, the hollow looks so good compared to the solid. Why don't you sell hollow? Why don't we all have hollow rope chains? Because as a lot of you guys know, there's an asterisk next to that. It's the durability. And I hear the haters typing, I hear them coming, and I gotta say this. You hear that? You hear that? That's like Santa sleigh, the jingle bells, Rudolph with your nose so bright. Won't you help me guide my sleigh tonight? This is the problem with hollow rope chains. But Brayden, my jeweler said because it's 10 carat, there won't be any issues. 10 carats harder than 14 carats. Get that out of here with that statement. Impressive. Okay guys, no hollow rope chain was injured during making this YouTube video. I am glad. I chucked that thing pretty hard at the wall because I take it serious. I don't want you guys to get a hollow rope chain and get excited because you're big flexing and then it breaks and you're disappointed because it's worth nothing but scraps compared to what you paid for. Let's talk, guys. You can be careful, but life happens. Accidents happen. I was at the grocery store one time checking out and you know that little window in the cart in the front section where you put like the good stuff, the eggs, the bread, all that? I had some blueberries. Accidentally knocked down. I didn't mean for that to happen. They went everywhere. Everywhere. And the funny thing is like everyone is well, on purpose trying to run over the blueberries as I sat there looking like a tomato because I was so embarrassed. I didn't expect that to happen. The other day I door dashed Chipotle, a veggie burrito going healthy, and they sent me someone else's burrito. I took a bite. It was this like beet pork burrito with a gross spicy red sauce. I was so mad. Didn't mean for that to happen. Same thing with this. Life happens. You could be careful, but a freak accident catches on your hoodie, your seatbelt. Someone grabs grabs it, pulls it, there, 10 carats not gonna protect you. There's nothing you could do, it's gonna bust. Let me show you guys how these rope chains are made and the things you gotta watch for and this is how rope chains get in trouble. Same with the solid rope chains. See in between, there's these little gaps between the links. Um, that's just how the rope chains are made and it helps make them a little bit more flexible so not as stiff, but those are the problem areas and that's what's gonna happen with the hull. With the saw, at least you have a little bit more of a firm link to hold that and help protect it. There's only so much you can do, but those bigger size ropes, not a problem. But with the hollow ropes, because they're so light and flimsy and hollow, if something, piece of clothes, whatever beach towel gets in there and you pull it, boom, busted, there goes your rope chain. Now maybe you're sitting there saying, you know what, it's kind of worth the risk. Maybe I'll try my luck, go with something. This chain right here was just under $800 for a seven millimeter, 10 carat. It's not terrible, I don't recommend 10 carat, but if you like it and you wanna try it out, go for it. I just wanna make a video as to what generally happens long term with hollow ropes. Maybe because this is bigger, it's an exception. I bought a two and a half millimeter as well in the same order, but I'm gonna save that for another review, another video. But at the end of the day, guys, I'm a gold guy. I love gold. So I put this one ounce gold coin, this is 24 karat in my hand, as well as the seven millimeter hollow 10 karat rope. And it's crazy the 
difference in just the way it feels. And I've been talking about just kind of feeling the gold around your neck. If you like that and you like that prestige and respect, then you're going to value the higher purities, solid, heavier chains. If you're going just to flex, and I guess try your luck, but just know something happens. There's no real repairing it. They could solder it, but you got a gold ball on it. Just not a good look. And if you try to resell it, you're just going to be really mad because you're going to get nothing for it that you think you should. So you could try your luck either way. To me, stay away from hollow chains in general. I know a lot of people just try to get it just to get it and try to justify it until they learn their lesson and then they tend to save up and go with a nice piece. When you buy a gold chain, guys, or gold jewelry, Julian general, it's to wear long term. It's to pass down from generation to generation. That's how I feel. That's how I would like for you guys to feel and see it as well. So um, yeah, this was a pretty fun review. I hope you guys learned something. Again, it's really your preference, what you want to do. I'm just here to give you guys some good advice. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this chain, but it was fun using it as a prop. That's it for today's video. We'll see you on our next jewelry video.